hi everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Paula today we're going to be doing a yoga class very short but brief we're going to be focusing on doing front splits also known as Hanumanasana we're going to start doing some exercises and yoga poses to activate our hips and our legs so we can get into our front split and also just so you so you guys know you guys have to know yourselves when doing yoga we're going to try to go with the term ahimsa which is non-violence so we're going to take care of ourselves not try to push our limits and just go one step at a time see where we are today and you can always do it tomorrow and see how is your progress in your Hanumanasana so we're going to begin first in a seated position we're going to take a deep breath in bringing our arms towards our heart center Take a big inhale all the way from your nose, taking as much air as is possible. Hold it there and slowly exhale from your nose or mouth, letting everything out. Take a deep breath from your nose. Fill up. Take an exhale, slowly emptying out from your nose or mouth. Feeling the sensation of emptiness, slowing down your breath. Let's take one more breath here. Slowly, just seeing your chest rise up with oxygen. Take a deep breath out exhale and now we're gonna come back to a regular breath we're going to slowly start bringing our hands all the way down towards the ground finding our way into our tabletop position and in here you're going to make sure your knees are hip width apart you're going to slowly tuck your toes to the ground and lift up your knees, finding your downward facing dog, Arun Mukha Savasana. Sorry, my pronunciation is very off today, so my apologies. So, here we're just going to start as a regular downward facing dog with your own breath. You can bend one knee at a time and see if you can start bringing your heels closer towards the mat and just know that everybody's different so if your body is not getting there at once it's okay we all have a yoga journey so whatever you are just focus on being present focusing on your breath and the poses will come later from with time and consistency so from here just slowly we're going to prepare to a three leg downward facing dog lifting or right leg off the mat if possible keep your left leg straight we're going to square our hips all the way towards the front so they should be aligning completely or as much as we can and here you're going to start bending your right knee and you can start doing a few circles with your own breath so that way we can start activating our right side very slowly breathing in focusing on bringing positive energy positive thoughts into your life and as you exhale we're releasing everything that is no longer serving us we're going to start <clears throat> switching towards the opposite side and 
you're going to go with your own breath opening as much as your body allows you and very slowly we're going to bring our knee towards the front of our chest and place it down on the ground in between our hands very slowly and gently we're going to place our left leg down if not you can just extend it behind your body if that's in your practice here we're going to square the hips towards the front once again making sure we're creating a line here with our body so it can help us with the front split we're going to extend our leg making sure our ankle or calf and hamstrings are all you know aligned and from here if this possible we're going to start lifting up our foot and opening little by little so that way your front hamstring can start activating more here in our Ardha Kapotanasana half pigeon we're going to take a deep breath in you can slowly bring your arms towards the sky if you will like and as you exhale you can start bringing your chest down towards the ground feeling the sensation here of your leg extending more as you press your chest down you can also bring your forearms in front of your body or also extend your arms completely in front take a deep breath in and a deep breath out staying here for two and one slowly walk your hands closer towards your body press the palms of your hands down towards the ground as you tuck your left foot we're going to slowly find our way back into downward facing dog Aro Mukha is Vargasana here you're going to bend one knee at a time once again going with your own breath you can go as fast as or as slow as you want it to be take a deep breath in lift up your left leg off the mat and now we're going to bend our knee making sure our hips are looking forward we're going to start doing circle circles with our left leg opening as much as we can we got deep breath in and a deep breath out start going on to the opposite direction inhaling and slowly exhaling and now we're going to bring our knee into our chest and slowly start bringing our knee down towards the ground in between our hands towards the front of your mat you're gonna make sure your left leg is extended behind you where you can always have a bend here in your knee if you would like to do a variation of Ardha Kapotanasana square towards the front of the mat with your hips take a deep breath in open up your chest you can adjust your feet if that's something that you would like to do or you can just stay wherever you are take a big inhale slowly open up towards the sky and exhale we're going to bow down and see the connection here as we bring our chest closer towards our leg and you can notice a certain activation in your hamstring take a deep breath in fill up 
Take a deep breath out, let it all out. We're gonna stay here for two. And one. Start bringing your hands closer and closer towards your body. Tuck your right foot towards the ground and slowly start lifting up to downward facing dog. You can start bending one knee at a time with your breath and just noticing here any differences paying attention if you see your body got any tighter or you just feel more relaxed in your legs and hips so very slowly we're going to start coming towards standing position any way you like so now the second exercise we're going to do it's not a yoga pose but it could be so we're going to do walking lunges these are very helpful so that way you can stretch your hips and open them as well so starting all the way from the back of your mat you can take a deep breath in and go with your breath take a step forward and bend your front knee and see if you can have your left leg off the mat completely extended you can lift up your arms towards the sky or just have them here in prayer and very slowly we're gonna take a step forward and now we're gonna take a step back with our right foot and leg extending our right leg completely bending the left take a deep breath in bringing your hands into prayer or extending them overhead now we're going to come back towards the front so we're going to keep doing this for a few reps you can go as fast or as slow as you like and you're going to notice here the activation of your hips and also your core as well and your psoas and hamstrings so it's a lot of stuff going on which helps us get to our splits very slowly take a deep breath in take a step back with your left foot now we're coming back to our lunge and take a step towards the front and now we switch take a step back bend your front knee extend the, the rear leg and take a step towards the front we're going to do it two more times and now we're going to go to our next exercise or yoga asana pose take a deep breath in extend your left leg bend the front bring your hands into prayer extend your arms overhead and slowly try to keep your balance try not to rush it i'm trying to rush for the sake of the video but just try to do it at your own time so that way you can connect your breath with the motion of your body now we're gonna take our right leg back arms towards the front extend and now the last one take a step back bring your arms to prayer extend and now we're going to do our last side take your right foot back extend and slowly bring yourself forward okay so if you guys did the walking lunges with me we are now start coming all the way down towards the mat taking a deep breath in extend all the way to mountain pose tadasana exhale extend your legs as much as possible bowing down to uttarasana standing forward fold bring your hands on top of the chin of your legs extend your arms Extend your back and look forward to Ardha Uttarasana, half forward fold. Exhale, place one hand at a time, take a step back, find your high plank and making sure your hips and shoulders are aligned. Exhale to 
Chaturanga Dandasana. Bending your elbows, finding your low plank. Inhale, slowly start lifting up your chest. And also, this is optional, you can find your upper facing dog lifting your hips off the mat or find your way into cobra just dropping your legs down just finding your back bend here as you breathe in exhale we're going to tuck our toes to the ground and lift up our knees into downward facing dog here we're gonna make sure our feet are hip width apart and our hands are going to be shoulder width we're gonna stay here for a few breaths just feeling the connection with our mind body and soul in this moment take a deep breath in and a deep breath out and just a reminder to clear your mind always just trust yourself in the universe and trust the process. So, with Hanumanasana, this pose, it helps us to just trust ourselves and let the universe take care of everything, basically. So now we're gonna take a step forward with right foot from downward facing dog and slowly we're going to find our way into a low lunge placing our left leg all the way down to the ground and here you can have your hands on the inner side so your foot is going to be out we're going to slowly start opening our right hip pushing or right leg all the way towards the outer side and you can see if you can lift up the base or palm of your foot towards the side so it's not down on the mat and you're going to see if you feel here your fascia latte i'm pronouncing it wrong uh, so my apologies your fascia latia <laughs> so all these muscles here in your hip flexor are going to start feeling a little bit sore if this is not in your daily practice so just be patient with yourself if you would like to progress more into your pose here you can also bring your forearms down to the ground and have your arms into prayer just stay here taking one breath at a time just knowing that you don't have to judge yourself if you're not where you want to be right away the fun is in the progress so now we're going to move into galaxy pose if you like to extend even more and this helps us for our front split you can slowly bend your left leg and you can <laughs> grab your right foot with your right hand behind you and stay here just slowly feeling the sensation of your legs and hips activating you can now breathe in and a deep breath out staying here for one slowly we're going to release our foot all the way back and now we're going to walk our front foot or leg in between our hands we're going to come to a half split so this is our final pose before we go and try our hanumanasana so here we're going to keep our right leg extended as much as we can and adjustments are necessary if you need to so ideally making sure your back leg is a square for support take a deep breath in just lengthen your chest and as you exhale place your hands down to the ground and see if you can bring them forward and slowly bring your head down letting your chest 
come closer and closer towards your front leg. Here you're going to start feeling the activation of your front calf, especially your hamstrings. If you haven't felt them before during this yoga class. Breathe in and your Ardha Hanumanasana and breathe out. Take one more breath here. And now we're going to slowly come all the way to or right front split. So if this is in your practice and you feel comfortable in your half split, you can slowly see if you can start walking your front foot little bit forward forward and whatever you are that you feel comfortable and that's enough for your body just to stay there because there's nothing more important than listening to yourself and what your body needs so we're going to slowly pay attention to yourself and just do the demonstration here if your body allows you you're going to start sliding your foot all the way forward so here we're going to make sure our back leg is straight as it can be and our front leg is going to follow and our hips is very important that they're looking towards the front so it's very easy since our hips might not want to open all the way that we might switch towards the side and it's totally okay just know that if you want to get to your Hanumanasana, we're going to adjust our hips all the way, aligning them towards the front. So you can find your sit bones or your, sorry, your hip bones, and you're going to slowly switch them forward. And this might take a few tries to get yourself balanced too, because your core needs to be activated and engaged here to be able to hold you so you don't fall towards the side. So now we're going to get into the full extension of Hanumanasana. Bring your hands into prayer in front of your chest. Take a deep breath in. Extend your arms all the way towards the sky. Here we're giving our heart, our throat chakra to the universe. Opening yourself to more opportunities. And we're just imagining that we're like a monkey, Hanuman, just trying to go from what, trying to do a big jump of faith. So here we're gonna breathe in and breathe out. Thing for three, two, and one. Slowly start bringing your hands all the way towards the center. And now we're just going to do a front forward fold just so we can feel further activation of our hips. If that's in your practice, slowly start bringing yourself forward. And start bringing the forearms all the way down bringing your forehead towards the chin of your leg you can point your toes and then flex them see what feels comfortable for you taking one breath at a time And your Hanumanasana with forward fold. And I forgot to mention, if you have blocks at home that you can use, you can use them for support so that way you can hold yourself from side to side if it's not in your practice or your body accessibility to get all the way down, which is okay props are amazing 
to use it as an extension of our body. So basically, use what you can and do what you can do. We're going to slowly start coming off from our monkey pose or front split. So my favorite way to get out of Hanumanasana so that way it's super easy and maybe if it's like a yoga flow it goes so smoothly we can start bending our front leg and if it's in your practice you can bend a little bit this is okay we're going to start coming to Ardha Kapotanasana the pose that we did at the beginning of this video that way it's almost like we're in the same position without moving so much of the ground. Take a deep breath in and slowly exhale. We're going to bow down and stay here for a few breaths. Breathing in from your nose and breathing out, letting it all out. Take two more breaths here. And one. Slowly start coming back towards the center, lifting up your chest. We're going to press our left toe down towards the ground and lifting up to our downward facing dog. You can bend your knees, feeling any differences after doing our front split, front split on this side, sorry. Extend your arms and hips. Lift up as much as is possible to your downward facing dog. Now we're going to take a deep breath in. Bring our left foot all the way towards the front. Dropping our left knee towards the ground. And here our hands are going to be on the inside in front of our chest and our foot is going to be on the outside. Here we're going to start opening our left leg towards the side, seeing how we're doing right now as we push this out, <laughs> our, our knee out, sorry. And very slowly just start connecting with your breath to see how your body is reacting to this very high intensity stretches because they're very advanced so if you would like to further more here we can go to our galaxy pose bending our right leg and slowly grabbing our right foot with our left hand breathe in and take a deep breath out Staying here for two. And one more breath. Slowly start releasing. We're going to bring our foot, our right foot all the way down towards the ground, extending our right leg. And we're going to make sure our left foot is in between our hands. Slowly start extending your left leg and finding your way into Ardha Kapotanasana, lifting up your chest. Take a deep breath in, open all the way towards the sky, and as you exhale, start bringing your hands down. Start folding all the way, as close as possible to your left leg. And very slowly, you can start flexing your foot if you would like. Breathing here as deeply as possible. And taking a deep breath out from your nose. Staying here for one more breath. Now we're going to slowly start tr transitioning to our Hanumanasana from our half split. You can slowly press, press your hands down towards the ground and you can start switching 
or walking your foot little by little towards the front see what feels comfortable for you and if it your body allows it just a slowly start extending towards the front making sure one leg is in front of the other one so if your mat has any sort of markings that's very good to be able to see where you are if not you can also use like any towels or stuff you have at home no worries there's always symmetry anywhere you can see it in, in the world so now extending our left leg completely behind or, or right leg completely behind us or hip bones we're going to square them towards the front bringing our hands into prayer in front of our chest take a deep breath in lengthen all the way towards the sky to your hanumanasana front split pose take a deep breath in Deep breath out. Staying here for two. And one. Slowly, let's take a deep breath in. And as we exhale, we're going to bow down towards the front and just see if we can fold our body, bringing our chest all the way towards the chin of our legs folding yourself completely they get the breath in and slowly just let it all out staying here for two and one Walk your fingers closer towards your body, lifting up your chest. And now we're going to start bending our left knee. So we can start coming off our front split into our half pigeon, Ardha Kaputanasana. We're going to make sure our legs are aligned, one in front of the other one. Your hips are going to be squared. We're looking towards the front. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, slowly bow down. Take a deep breath in. And take a deep breath out. very slowly walk your fingers back towards your body lifting up your chest now we're going to close finding our way into a seated position so from downward facing dog if you like to stretch a little bit more before we end you can bend your knees and slowly drop your hips towards the ground you can cross or legs and the shin of our legs behind us and slowly try to bring our set bones down towards the ground now that we're in sukhasana easy seated pose we're just going to close with one breath together saying om if you would like to join me place the hands in front of your chest you can close your eyes if this feels comfortable to you. Taking a deep breath in from your nose. Take a deep breath out. And together, we're just going to sing the word Om. Om. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope you guys enjoyed this class and this tutorial. 
it's useful for you guys uh, I really appreciate it for watching if you saw all this video and you're here thank you so much I hope to see you guys in the next one and if you guys have any advice or any tips I mean sorry if you guys have any tips that you guys would like to see or anything please leave me a comment and anything like a like or a subscribe I really appreciate it thank you so much for your support and I hope you guys have a great rest of your week thank you namaste